the Rel C's movie. Now, we all saw it, and honestly, that movie was very good. I'm not gonna sit here and try to overhype it. I honestly didn't enjoy what they showed, but I'm not one of those people that look at this game and just have my eyes start glistening and shining when seeing Rel C's. I honestly just kind of see the game as being really good, and I am excited for it to come out, but not to the point where it's like I can't, you know, not talk about it or just take a long period without talking about it even still though the main topic of this video that i'm going to be making today is topic that rel c's will break the platform now one thing that i do want to say is this is mainly just going to be my opinion and kind of me answering some of the comments that people left in the comment section of the rel c's movie i'm not trying to sit here and just make it seem like oh i'm trying to be negative because everybody else is positive one that's really weird and it is a really loserish thing to do. And two, this is literally just my perspective of somebody who's hyped for the game, but not hyped to the point where I will just like glaze all over the game. Pause. So besides that, if you actually do enjoy this video or just enjoy the topic of it, feel free to like and subscribe and thanks for watching. And I guess a good way to start this off is actually my personal take on the idea that Rel C's will break the platform. So for me personally, I don't think it's going to break the platform. When I think of games that have broken the Roblox platform, it would kind of just be two, which is going to be Royal High and Blocked Fruits. Now, the thing with these two games is that they are catered to the highest market for Roblox, which is going to be kids. Kids probably make up around 70 to 80% of Roblox, which is a lot because Roblox definitely has over like 1 million active users every single day. If you make a game that is very simple to understand, easy to pick up, doesn't require like too much brain power, and it also has cool visuals. This is very ideal for somebody who has such a low attention span. Now, there are people our age who, who also have low attention spans, but making games that's really catered towards kids would honestly make your game last a lot longer. Blox Fruits averages around 300k to 500k players because this game is made for kids. So now you bring that over to Rel C's and you can already tell that this game is going to be heavily based on exploration mainly and just having adventure. And although this is like really cool and interesting and imagine being a kid being able to explore a game that's endless. If you really think about it, would a kid want to put that much time into really exploring inside these games? I think the answer could be 50 50, but if we're just coming from it from like a more realistic standpoint and not what I'm thinking then the answer is probably going to be no. A kid will want something that's easy to pick up and just easy to play with for a limited amount of time, then they can go into the next fun thing. In Rel C's, you're mainly going to be progressing your build throughout the whole entire time, and it will take a lot more time to get your build to a fun state than it would be to just play a game where you could just start all fun from the very start, which is something like Block Truth. You could go on Block Truth and buy a Devil Fruit and start having fun, compared to Rel C's where you're actually gonna have to work and grind for it. So that's just my take on why I don't think Rel C's is going to break the platform. To break the platform, you literally need to be catered towards people, or you literally need to be catered towards kids. And now that you actually know my personal stance on this, I do want to read some of the comments that were kind of hating on the game, or just comments from the video itself that kind of stood out to me. And I, I did blur the names of the people because I don't want them to like feel like I'm personally attacking them, and I, I doubt they're even gonna watch this video. But the first comment I do want to cover is this person addressing the Kura Bros. They said, have the two of you still not watched or read One Piece? We haven't forgotten Row Piece. Nothing about your hockey system makes sense. Now, this comment is very clearly talking about the hockey system that they showed to us inside of Movie 2. Now, basically, like the general overview for the hockey system inside of Rel C's from what we've seen, it's mainly just going to be based around cars and stuff that you have. The Rail Brothers did say that everybody's going to have access to hockey. And judging from like the stat page, it looks like hockey is really just going to be a stat where you get to invest in it yourself. Kind of meaning like you won't have to be born special to be able to use Conqueror's Hockey. You can use Conqueror's Hockey if you make your build orientated towards Conqueror's Hockey. And they also did want to make hockey different for every single person. Hence why there's kind of like a poster storage system or essentially a card storage system where you can equip three cards and once you equip these three cards, it will basically make your hockey stronger depending on the type of card that you choose. For example, if you choose observation hockey, you can choose a card that will allow your future sight to give you eight dodges. And there's just basically different cards for each hockey tree and you can make your build according to whichever one you want. 
Now, the person's comment is directly addressing this, and they're just asking them if they basically watch One Piece because they're not really following it one on one. And I personally think that this is like a really bad stance to take on the game. If you're developing a game and making an exact one to one copy of the anime that you're referencing, yes, it could be good because you would be able to have, I mean, I don't even want to say like a more loyal fan base. People would be able to have like the general knowledge of what they could do inside the game. But being able to explore something different inside your game outside of what's inside the anime is honestly probably going to be better because it would allow for you more longevity, meaning that you can do different things and you won't have to strictly just stick to the anime for content for the game. And on top of that, with the topic of hockey as well, I don't know how you would see stuff like this and then think that you really just want it to be just like the anime. There is so much you can do with the idea of hockey that I don't think strictly like putting it onto just, oh, you have armor in hockey, you can hit low key users and you can block a lot of more attacks. There's so much stuff you can do. And just limiting hockey to what you see inside the One Piece anime would honestly be kind of whack. And I'm happy that the Rope Riders aren't doing that. And the second comment is actually going to be addressing something that really did end up getting changed like a couple of hours later. And it's actually going to be saying, I think somehow you need to make the boss more aggressive because I feel like a lot of times they're just jumping back and giving you free hits. And this gives me the vibe that the boss is scared of you and I think it should be the other way around. But it looks super good and I can't wait to play it. Now, basically this person was just complaining or stating that they think that the bosses honestly don't look that great and that they can be done better. Because there was just a lot of open space for the boss to really get hit by you. And it was more like you playing passive against the boss who's also playing passive. And this is honestly a fair critique based off of movie 2. And I'm actually kind of surprised to see that people weren't just completely glazing the game because there were like a fair amount of comments actually calling this out which is honestly a really good thing and i personally do agree with this comment as well when i was watching the boss fight against like the saber tooth um cat and the giant guy that had a sword it honestly looked kind of like slow to me and i'm not sure if this is just because when one of the career bros is actually playing like more passive and laid back with the boss or if it's because it's just not as explosive as i thought a boss fight should be where like you're running around using all these skills but the boss fights did kind of look just lackluster to me and keep in mind this is still just like a very early-ish showing of the bosses so i'm not going to fully judge it but following this video the rubber brothers actually did upload a devlog or just a little patch i guess where they actually did increase the speed of the bosses and they actually showed it to us and in the video where they actually made the bosses more aggressive they basically just fixed some of the animation jank and improved the tracking for the bosses and i think this actually does go to show you how competent the rail brothers are when it comes to developing that they can see criticism like this and inside the same day actually make the changes towards it and you don't have to wait like couple of months just for some silly change on like making the boss actually feel like a boss so it is a good thing that somebody actually commented that and that the rogue brothers actually did address it themselves and following this somebody actually did say that rel siege will break the platform mark my words roblox has never seen and probably will never see a game so revolutionary and genre changing even if you aren't a fan of roblox anime games and have never heard of one piece this will still truly be an experience to behold and then you said edit k never mind the movie was hard ass now two things one what in the glaze like that was some serious glazing without even watching the video and two the movie was not even that bad and this is mainly the comment that kind of sparked the video because it's like a good title and because i actually didn't want to give like my two cents and on the topic of real seeds breaking the platform as well but yeah this comment honestly is kind of just like pointless like i i do see the hype factor of saying this because it's a new game that looks really nice with a lot of in-depth features that we're going to be getting but at the same time keep your head on your shoulders it's best to be realistic and going with semi-low expectations that you're blown away when you actually play something really good and then this is actually going to be the last comment now i might butcher this while reading it because i'm not sure if this person typed it out the wrong way but I'm just going to read it exactly how it is. Don't get me wrong, I'm really looking forward to Rel C's, but that was strange. It gives me a feeling of incompleteness that I did not feel in other trailers, devlogs, slash movie. I think everyone was waiting for something big that would shock all the other developers. I think even the teasers, they did it better. The release date, will this game maybe less hapado? 
it was a terrible decision and i think they were trying to say that the release date will make this game less hype then they said i know you want to polish the game but it still disappoints they didn't give us fruit more demonstrations of weapons armor and customization i feel like i should have more time preparing this film and i hope you see my criticism as advice for improvement the creation of these videos this had the same rhythm of the one piece anime so my general understanding of this comment is that they are basically saying that the release date will make it less hype for the game and that it was kind of a terrible decision to not include weapons, armor, and customization and that the pacing for this video did feel like a One Piece anime episode. So this comment is kind of like three things in one and to mainly just address the comment of the release date making the game less hype. Honestly, I think this is just person to person because a release date for a game should honestly make more hype for it so yeah and then the second one of them not giving a full demonstration on everything now the career bros actually did address this in their own announcement recently where they essentially said that there's no point in showing you everything because this kind of does take away from the game releasing itself it's not like you would get anything from the game releasing or playing the game on release if you know everything that's going to be coming to the game and i actually do understand this from the career bros it's like a very grounded take and I think that would, could also vary person to person. I personally wouldn't want to see everything if I'm about to play the game and I would like to be shocked when I'm like just playing it or going through some things while playing the game. And then the final piece of this comment which is going to be saying that it had the rhythm of the One Piece anime or just the pacing of the One Piece anime. Honestly that one is just kind of funny because it's like I can see why they say that and that's probably just because the Real Brothers actually decided to use like the AI voice which is kind of just like it, it it definitely drew me off but inside the last movie people were complaining that the real brothers were having like a yap session and they didn't want to i guess recreate that as well so yeah i i can honestly see the criticism on them saying that they had the um pacing of a one piece episode there was like a big segment where it was honestly just them fishing me personally i don't really care for fishing that much but them explaining features related to fishing and how you should do it is pretty important for a game and it does honestly just show that you can do much more than just your safe like your basic exploration fighting so yeah in general this was everything that i've seen and kind of wanted to cover inside this video if you did enjoy this video please feel free to like and subscribe i feel like the whole entire movie releasing itself was honestly just a good thing and i'm happy to see people actually criticizing it while also still being able to enjoy it so outside of that if you didn't enjoy the video, I'm pretty sure I already said to like and subscribe, but yeah, I'll just say it again. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up.